Hey guys, me, the Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. So you've had some excellent snow today in the Wasatch. That ends tonight, dry tomorrow morning. Next snow comes in tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night through 220 into 221, looking for major accumulations, probably over a foot for most of Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons with that should be a great push of moisture. Tetons, one to three inches tonight. Colorado, what little bit of snow you had today will end tonight. And the next measurable snow comes in afternoon, evening, 221 um, into 222. Still looking at northern branch involvement with a merger and some energy, 225 through 228. And still, I've got big numbers, big totals. I'll show you those coming up. Northeast, you've got light snow coming afternoon, evening, 222 into 223. All right, let me take you over to water vapor satellite imagery here this afternoon. So on this, the whites, the blues, the greens, that's your moisture aloft. That's what we're tracking here. Big trough in the atmosphere. Big dip in the atmosphere. And what that's been doing is sending in waves of moisture. So the snow we saw today and are seeing today crossing the Intermountain West that was sent out by this storm system. And that will bring in um, all of its moisture um, in the next couple of days into California. And then 220, 221, 222 through Utah, um, parts of Colorado, Wyoming, Idaho, New Mexico as that slides through. So we're just going to wait on that. Here's the jet pattern. This is the, uh, the jet by the end of the day today. Here comes our big trough. By 220, that's moving into California, 219, 220. And then it makes its move into the interior, 220, 221, 222 through Colorado. And then it's gone. A little bit of a quiet period on 223, waiting for the next storm. So here's the interesting part right here. On 225, you've got a storm riding the southern branch into California. You've got the northern branch beginning to buckle. It'll bring its own energy in, and the two might merge. Watch what happens on 226 right there. And what happens, uh, 227, 228, we could be looking at a nice west-northwest flow type of pattern coming right out of the Pacific Northwest. Here's the moisture content on top of everything else, forecast radar. You can see what little bit of snow we had today now will come to an end uh, by tomorrow morning. Next storm system moves into California, sends energy in to Utah, Wyoming, Colorado. Here comes the main storm departing towards the four corners. Moves into Colorado and uh, parts of New Mexico, Utah, Wyoming with some snow there into 222, and then it fades. And then a quiet period on 223, 224, waiting. Here comes the northern branch, next storm system out of California. The two merge and widespread snow development, uh, 226, 227, with another storm coming down the pipeline for 228. So that's going to be a good period. All right, here are the latest numbers that I've got. Here's the new grand total map for this afternoon. Some of the numbers have trended down just a little bit, but still looking at potentially three feet through Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons as a grand total, rest of today through 227. Uh, one to two feet for the Tetons, most of the snow in Colorado, central and northern mountains, especially western slope, and in northwest Colorado from Crested Butte, Aspen Snowmass, Powderhorn up to Steamboat, Cameron Pass, Buff Pass, and Vail. Um, looking at two, maybe three feet in California in the Sierra, about a foot up there in Idaho, and still looking at great numbers through the Pacific Northwest. Some of the numbers have gone up just a touch, two to three feet, maybe four feet in a couple of spots. Um, looking at some pretty good numbers through interior BC. Let's break it down by time period. All right, so rest of today through to the through the day tomorrow, uh, another one to four in the in the Wasatch, one to two, one to three in the Tetons, and a little bit in the central and northern mountains of Colorado, and then that's it. Until we get into um, until we get out a couple of days, uh, about a foot for the Sierra, maybe a couple of feet over Shasta. Next time period, 220 through 222. This will be a good time period, I think, for the Wasatch and the central to northern mountains of Colorado. You can see the numbers there, um, holding up pretty well. This is a pretty quiet period right here, 223 to 225. Really waiting on the northern branch to come in. You can see the numbers starting to increase up there in BC. All right, final time period. 226 through 227 is a good one. Got a nice west-northwest flow, storm system, northern branch. Um, looking at 6 to 12 inches in Colorado, potentially over a foot in the uh, parts of the Wasatch, a foot in the Tetons, potentially a foot in Idaho, and some big numbers in the Pacific Northwest. Okay, up to the northeast. Uh, again, some light snows coming in uh, late 222 and 223, and potentially an additional storm way down the road around 227, which could clip parts of northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and northern Maine. 
All right, guys, we'll go back to the grand total map again. All of today, the rest of today through 227. Still looking at some big numbers. Anywhere in purple is over a foot, and that's pretty much uh, a lot of the ma major mountain ranges of the West. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon. Mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.